Hello, this is Steve, the Acrylic Glass Man. So let's get into it. We need our measuring devices, whichever one you're comfortable with. Gives you straight edge working with your bench top, provided you might have one with a straight edge. That's if you really plan on cutting some square stuff. Okay, so we got our uh, we got our measuring devices. We've got our sharpies. I like both sizes. We got our glue materials or I our adhesives. We're going to go the hot glue gun and the double back tape. At this point, with a set like this, this set is all done with double back tape and hot glue gun. I don't see any reason for me to glue permanently with ultraviolet glue anything that's on that stage yet. That doesn't mean that during this video series, I have no idea what's around the corner. Trust me, we are going to try some crazy stuff. I guarantee you, in glass, uh, as we continue this evolution. Of course, we're not going to do anything that's never been done. But it's just going to be fun on this path as walking along the way. And I hope some of you are encouraged enough to pick up some mirror and have fun. If you, in fact, do see this as being fun. So we got our adhesives and mirror and especially going to the route of going and checking on your box of mirror. You used to be able to get them bigger. You used to be able to get 10. And I got mine at Kmart a long time ago. I used to do mirror stuff. Geez, when I was a kid. So we would get 10 at a time. Might have even been 12, but I'm pretty sure it was 10. Um, even, even mirror with bad edges uh, where you know it's been chipped and stuff. As long as you got a straight edge, you can take care of that. You, and then square up your glass. And you can get some very valuable pieces, especially strips. Because I can take that strip and cut them in any kind of segment I want. I could take and cut segments and wrap that segment around round objects. Around round objects. Vases, glasses, cups to create the effect I want. I can stand my pieces up with double back tape and the hot glue gun and create myself the yes, a, a disco mirror ball effect. But we're not looking at it as a disco ball anymore. We're actually using it as a refractory fact factory. <laughs> if we can create an object that's a nice flat disc, like a coin, nice straight edges and such, um, that could be a lid to something, perhaps at the crafty type stores you can find round things. Um, there's all kind. We'll begin exploring all kinds of different ways of putting our sets together to create these amazing effects. And I I trust that I'll be learning along the way. This is really fun. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Never have. So I, I see a lot of momentum building. Um, cutting, cutting tools. I'm going to use them for my tape. Uh, you're going to use an X-Acto knife. And if you're handy with these and you know how to use it and you trust that, go for that. Use this for the safety. Um, that's pretty much it. Now, let's talk about the foam core. How in the world is the foam core going to benefit us? Um, also, the spray on alcohol, highly recommend. And uh, the alcohol, spray on alcohol. Uh, well, the rag. Um, this is foam core, folks. It's black. And this came from Staples. It came as a big set of three panels. And I use every piece of it. I save it all because I can build little mini models and such. So this came from Staples. It's some sort of a sign thing where it had a crease in it as a fold and a bend. And this is the benefit of keeping our scraps because fun stuff can be done. So this is its natural hinge. Once that wears out, I'll have to use a black duct tape on the back side. Cut my joints, my my uh, foam core with a sharp razor knife, uh, carpet knife, uh, or the X-Acto, or whatever sharp. This is called an X-Acto knife, for, for those that don't know. Um, and you can buy these at Staples. They're very sharp, and you want to take care that you treat it that way. And some of these things you're going to cut out with that type of a knife. So now, with hot glue gun, I mounted... Like you can see, goobered that up. <laughs> but it was for a quick need, and it wasn't even in the photo. So 
but I can always peel this off and yeah I'm gonna lose the foam core because it's you just can't recycle it so I'll get everything every benefit I can uh, off of this set but that's the cool thing about this set sitting on a bigger stage is I can create an effect right here without seeing into here and here it is it's part of my furniture so here's what I got on here dang this is kind of confusing in this mirror land isn't it I've got a piece of foam core here that folds in half and it is 13 inches so it's about six and a half on either side uh, it looks to be even but remember it's a, it's it's a cutaway I've the boards are fairly good size they're full poster board three of them and I believe it was 12 13 dollars for the whole thing and it's really good so also this foam core is what lines this wooden box so let's push everything aside and kind of give us a gander at uh, what this box might represent. I made a box for a festival, so to speak, and I put some handles on it. It's a pretty good sized box. We already discussed what size the measurement was earlier, in, either in this video or the previous. And you can kind of see I just took some old handles and yada yada. And I used a half inch good plywood. Now, study this. It's just sitting in there. The foam core. I put it in there really tight. The sides are in there a little bit tighter, but I believe I used, uh, yeah, I did. I used double back tape to put my wings. And, I, and the wings locks this back with a little bit of double back. And I've got a set. So let's just let's whip around. I put my lights on the back. I put two little holes. We'll get into more deep aspects of this, but I just want to leave you with that thought. This can get really complex real quick, meaning a lot of fun. More, more than you would have realized by going into these. Let's, do, let's save that for the next video, because that, uh, that's pretty special. Bye-bye.